Of course, we'll keep tracking that for us very closely. Remember, this is now, as he mentioned, uh, quite a few days since those workers have been on strike. Moving on now, it seemed that just a few months ago, most realty developers would have fallen over themselves trying to acquire as much land as possible in the Greater Noida or Noida area just outside of the capital. But now all of those dreams could have turned a little sour and they could be looking to offload all of that land, which means that the authorities in Noida are now trying to find new ways to keep them hooked. Builders and developers have pulled out projects worth 6,000 crore rupees in Noida and Greater Noida during the past few months. And many others are exploring exit options. No wonder then that the Noida Authority has come out with a blueprint to help developers stay invested in their projects. Sources say the government will soon enact a new law to subsidize land prices for big projects. It may also allow long-term payments for projects. It may also allow the transfer of land and projects from one developer to another. Builders may also be allowed to develop a project in phases. Most importantly, officials are looking to ease funding problems for developers. One idea is that uh, suppose a part of land is not funded and suppose the, uh, suppose the lease deed is mortgaged to the bank, then uh, we can share the approvals in escrow with the banks. Developers like BPTP who had pulled out of their 5,000 crore commercial project in Noida because of the cash crunch is certainly happy about the move. But with banks coming in, the authority uh, guaranteeing the bank funding, I'm sure developers would move in. Rattled by big developers queuing up to exit projects, officials have now come up with this blueprint for a new legislation. What remains to be seen if these new initiatives translate into investment for the suburb. In New Delhi, Varun Sinha, NDTV Profit.